everyone. This is Mastery Communications presented to you by Yosef. Uh, today we are going to see giving and asking for advice. Uh, can you think of a situation that you often give advice? What about asking for advice? Obviously, when we make mistakes, uh, we require others to give us advice. Or when others make mistakes, we also provide them advice. So there are pertinent expressions we often use in order to give and ask for advice. For today, I will show you the common uh, expressions we often use in order to uh, give and ask for advice. Uh, before that, I would like you to, co to consider these three uh, sentences which we uh, use to give advices for different situations. Look at the first one. You should work hard. Now you can think of a situation that we uh, consider while giving this advice. We ought to visit the historical sites in Ethiopia. It has its own situation uh, when we give advice. I had better stay here. There is also another situation, the third situation which we are expected to give advice. Uh, these sentences are considered advice, uh, are considered to give advice because of the use of some expressions. Now let me show you uh, the expression, the expressions could be in fact uh, a word or phrases or clauses. Now here we have uh, should, because we should, we consider this sentence giving advice. We have ought to and we have had better. These three uh, words enable us to give advice for others. So we have the subject first, bear in mind. We have the subject, we have you, we, I, which we often uh, bring at the beginning, and then we have plus, hard, better, ought to, and should. A strict grammatical difference uh, among these three uh, words, but for communication, we can use one instead of uh, the other. We have verb without to. Without to, the infinitive. Look, here the subject we have, should, ought to, had better, one of these three that we can use in order to give advice. We have uh, verb without to, work, hard, visit, and we have stay. So when we use should, ought to, and had better, do not forget that we are giving advice. Okay, uh, here are also other ways of giving advice. Uh, like the previous examples, we have also a different sentence uh, which we use in order to give advice. There are also uh, pertinent expressions uh, in these three sentences which I would like you to identify first. Uh, A says, I recommend you to work hard. Uh, this is giving advice. He suggests me to stay here. This is also mode of giving advice. The same for the third one. They advise us to attend class. Now we have recommend, suggest, and advice uh, which help us to give uh, advice. So we have recommend, suggest, and advice. Uh, here we have the subject, as usual, plus, uh, obviously the verb comes there, but unlike the first case, here we have infinitive with two, bear in mind. I recommend you to work hard, he suggests me to stay, they advise us to attend, so we have to work, to stay, to attend, verb with to. That's why I just put you, uh, I, I just put them verb with, with to and without to, in order to differentiate uh, the two groups of uh, words that we use to give advice. Should, ought to, had better, go with verb uh, without to, whereas Recommend, suggest, and advice go with verb with to. You should differentiate that uh, because 
accuracy is also important like fluency so grammatically uh, we should be also correct okay here is the, the second topic for our discussion that is asking for advice there are also relevant expressions which are in fact similar with the previous ones uh, maybe the mode of the sentence could be different in giving advice we often use a statement whereas in asking for advice we often use interrogative or question forms uh, look at these four sentences uh, though they are different in wordings they are used almost for similar functions that is asking for advice uh, what shall i do you can uh, extend this question based on the situation you have what shall i do in order to pass the exam you can say that for the sake of uh, shortening the sentence i just put in such a way uh, what do you recommend me to do uh, what would they suggest us what do you i mean what do we recommend him kind of sentence are used to ask for advice so these are expressions shall we can use what shall i do what can i do what should i do are all the same what do you recommend here we have recommend we have suggest and we have uh, recommend in fact you can replace it i think we have similar sentence so we can replace it with advice yeah what do we advise him to do in order to uh, do the exams well so look at the structure in this group we have what and we have shall or can or should what should i do plus you can have the verb here so what can i do what shall i do what should i do in order to pass the exam in order to become successful in life uh, here we have uh, recommend we have suggest we have advice the wh question we have and we have would and do here plus verb infinitive with to here in fact look what we have then would or do one of these two uh, plus recommend suggest advice so these are the basic structures that we use in order to ask for advice okay uh, the third title for this discussion is advice in the past look in the first two cases uh, we give or we talk about actions that we do in the future when i say you should visit the historical sites in ethiopia you should respect your father and mother uh, you should work hard to be successful in life now we are referring to an action that could be happening in the in the future but there are also uh, expressions we use in order to talk about what has already been done uh, when we regret uh, when we feel the action is wrong uh, we could use advices that indicate the past so when we regret for what happened in the past we use uh, advice in the past look at here these are good sentences to show you how uh, past actions should be stated in uh, giving advice you should have invited me i shouldn't have sold the book we ought to have done the task now let's underline appropriate expressions we used to uh, give advice in the past should have invited now it has a different structure different from the previous two structures that is giving and asking advice we have should plus have plus verb three this is a negative form or to plus have plus verb three so we don't have had better here had better is not in this structure so here we have should the basic structure is plus have plus verb three or it could be shouldn't or you should you should have invited me you should have visited me you should have told me the truth our actions happen in the past but they are 
indicating that we are regret indicating that we are regretting about the actions that happened in the past. So should a uh, plus have plus verb three or past participle is the basic structure. In this case, look, if the uh, advice is positive, I mean positive in structure, the meaning is negative. Here we have the structure. Here we have the meaning. Now this is a structure. What kind of structure do we have here? You should have invited me positive statement. The structure is positive, but the meaning is negative. So he hasn't uh, invited me. So he hasn't invited. The meaning is uh, negative, but the statement is positive. Look at the second one. I shouldn't have sold the book. So the structure is negative, but the meaning is positive. He has sold the book. Uh, we ought to have done the task. This is positive in structure, but the meaning is negative. So we haven't done the task. مشت نبرة بنو علشت أهوم مالتنا. مجابز نبرة بنو علقة بزهوم. مشت على نبرة بنو شت أوتال بتك عرانيو مالتنا. مسرات نبرة بنو على سرانو منو. سلذي structure positive كهونة meaning negative نو ميونة مالتنا. In the past regret من نادر كهونة ستات نو يتسرع سرع من الكهونة. بشود أو تو plus ها plus verb three نو من تك أمو مالتنا. Structure positive kahone, meaning negative monun and that raso. We should have worked hard, Kalen. Uh, we haven't worked hard. No. So structure positive no, meaning ugen, negative na no. This is the fourth one uh, which talks about strong obligation. Uh, in the previous instances, uh, we refer to our moral obligation. If I say uh, you should work hard, should used to give uh, advice but indicates moral obligation the same for hard better and all too advise recommend uh, suggest are also used for moral obligation but here look at uh, the sentence you must work hard they are used to give advice in fact we have to arrive early he has to bring the material now we have must we have have to and has to. These indicate or refer to a strong obligation. Uh, if one wants to give advice, maybe for elderly people, uh, we better use moral obligations like uh, should or to add better, recommend, suggest. But if we give for uh, el I mean younger brothers and sisters, we can use strong obligation. So it's a matter of choice for strong and moral obligations. Otherwise, the two groups, that means a strong obligation, the moral obligation are used to give and ask for advice. So here we have must, has to, have to, plus verb without to. These are uh, the way based on the discussion uh, we have made. Please do these questions on your own. The instruction says ask for and give advice for the following situations. We have uh, five different situations. So based on each situation, please exchange the role and ask for and give advice to improve English language skill. If I want to improve my English language skill, what kind of advice would you give me? How should I also ask for advice? To pass a job interview, to succeed in life, to give up smoking, to love a profession. Now let's revise our discussion. We have tried to cover these four topics, giving advice, asking for advice, advice in the past, and strong obligations. We have also tried to see the common structure or the basic structure we have under uh, each topic. Uh, in giving advice, we have uh, pertinent expressions like should, ought to, and hard better. Advice, recommend, uh, suggest are all used to give advice. So you should work hard. Most of the time we use positive statement. 
uh, you should visit the historical sites in Ethiopia. I recommend you to work hard. Uh, I suggest you to stay here are used to give advice. Whereas in asking for advice, we use interrogatives, questions most of the time. Uh, like, what shall I do? What can I do? What should they do? Or what do you recommend us? What should we recommend him? So recommend, suggest, uh, advise, shall, can, should uh, are used to ask for advice if we put them in interrogatives. Advice in the past, when an action already happened in the past, uh, but we regret due to various reasons, we use should plus have plus verb three or ought to plus have plus verb three. Uh, if the structure is positive, we have negative meaning. For example, I shouldn't have sold the book. Shouldn't have sold is negative in structure, but in meaning, I have sold the book. You should have told me the truth. This is positive in structure. You should have told positive in structure, but the meaning is negative. Uh, he hasn't told me the truth. When I come to strong obligation, we have must, have to, and has to. Uh, but this is a bit different from uh, the first one. In the first case, there is moral obligation. So uh, it makes us be polite when we give advice. But strong obligation, as the name indicates, is a bit strong when we give advice. So it's not recommended to suggest for elders, seniors. Uh, we better use uh, the first group of advices like should or to add better, uh, because this one is, as I said, a bit stronger. But this one makes us more polite. Uh, this much is enough.